हेलो स्टूडेंट्स और यू ऑल वेलकम टू ऑनलाइन क्लासेस इन आवर लास्ट वीडियो वी हैव डिस्कस अबाउट हाइड्रोजन सिक्शन प्रिपरेशन ऑफ हाइड्रोजन बाय स्मॉल स्केल नथिंग बट लैबोरेटरी मेथड एंड लार्ज स्केल इंडस्ट्रियल मेथड एंड फ्यू फिजिकल प्रॉपर्टीज आल्सो डिस्कस्ड टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट chemical properties of hydrogen hydrogen so in this it is hr3 so chemical properties of Hydride. 
which I am is hydride. Here, hydrogen gaining electron. Clear it is. Next, if hydrogen last one electron, H plus will be formed. It means in chemistry point of view, if electron lost, we need to keep a positive sign. Here, losing electron, losing one electron. This is called proton, also called hydronium. Hydronium ion. Here it is. Then, after this, if sharing one electron, hydrogen is electronic configuration 1s1, only one electron, one electron. If shares, then forms hydrogen molecules. Hydrogen molecules. This phenomenon is share. Gaining, losing, share. Very, very important. Then, few chemical properties will be Reaction with nitrogen. 
This process is called Habas process. Study in the second year course very important in the nitrogen family. So here, three moles of hydrogen treated with one mole of nitrogen give us two. Two moles of energy. Delta H it means the enthalpy change or the total heat content change is equal to minus 92.5. Kilo joule per mole. This much will be released. It is also which reaction exothermic reaction. The compound formed is ammonia. What is it? Ammonia. When hydrogen reacts with nitrogen, then forms ammonia. So this reaction is exothermic reaction. Next one. Reaction with metals. For reaction with metals, reaction with metals. When hydrogen reaction reacts with the metal, then forms metal hydrates. Hydrogen reacts with the metal. It is a first group element. For example, then forms Mh. Right. It is called metal hydride. Metal. So H2 plus Na sodium ion. Then we press two moles. Two Na sodium hydride. Next H2 plus Li two moles. Two Li H. Lithium hydride, next potassium hydride, rubidium hydride, cesium hydride, like that. Similar with second year group elements, you can calcium plus hydrogen, then give rise to calcium hydride. Calcium treated with hydrogen, that gives calcium hydride. These all hydrides are, this is more positive, and here hydrogen will be negative. Positive and negative is there. Obviously, the nature will be ionic. These hydrides are called ionic hydrides. Clear? Yes. Options are possible here. Question also. So, by which of the following hydrogen forms hydrides? That is, first year group element or second year group elements treated with hydrogen then forms ionic hydrides. Next. These hydrides, especially lithium hydride, treated with lithium hydride, react with AlCl3, then give us LiAlH4 plus 3LiCl. I guess 3LiCl. Otherwise, 
who can follow if you take pd cl2 plus h2 then give rise to both are same i have written ionic form here molecular form so pd plus 2 h plus neutralized by the 2 cl minus ions let's see it means metal ions converted into metals by hydrogen so next cuo cupric oxide so it is plus 2 it is minus 2 treated with h2 then h2o plus cl actually cu plus 2 converted into cu0 clear it is it can be also written as can be also written as cu plus 2 plus h2 give rise to cu plus 2h both are same it means reaction with metal ions next reaction with co carbon monoxide as we discussed carbon monoxide treated with hydrogen in presence of a catalyst cr2o3 yet 300 degree celsius and 200 atmospheric pressure then it is called ch3o this is methyl alcohol what is this methyl alcohol co plus hydrogen mixture is simply named as water gas already discussed about the water gas so in this study we can prepare methanol plus next reducing it hydrogen acts as reducing it reducing it so the meaning is the species itself undergoes oxidation called reducing it itself undergoes oxidation called reducing it otherwise the species which reduces others called reducing it best example jno plus hydrogen then give us jn plus h okay zinc oxide reduced to zinc by hydrogen otherwise hydrogen will be zero here h plus 1 h plus 1 oxygen minus 2 it is plus zero to plus 1 means increase in oxidation state increase in oxidation state is which one oxidation itself involved in oxidation clear that's why it is called reducing it it reduces others but itself involved in oxidation so hydrogen reduces the zinc oxide to zinc zn plus 2 to which one that is zn oxidation clear similar hydrogen can reduce copper oxide into copper copper oxide into copper similar hydrogen can reduce silver chloride into silver hydrogen can reduce silver chloride into silver but itself involved in oxidation so hydrogen is acting as a reducing agent to convert these oxides and chlorides into corresponding metals right next reaction with unsaturated hydrocarbons reaction with unsaturated hydrocarbons reaction with unsaturated hydrocarbons hydrocarbons mean organic compounds it means 
unsaturated compounds converted into saturated compounds by hydrogen unsaturated compound prepared with hydrogen converted into saturated compound clear it is for example ch two double bond ch two plus h two carbons eth double bond e ethene then two hydrogens and double bond converted into single bond ethane it is unsaturated it is saturated similar ch double bond ch plus h2 then triple bond converted into double bond again treated with hydrogen then double bond converted into single these two are unsaturated compounds converted into saturated alkene right similarly this will be happened in presence of a catalyst and hydrogen is added in presence of a catalyst this is called this is called catalytic hydrogenation catalytic hydrogenation addition of hydrogen is called hydrogenation and it is also called addition of hydrogen is also called reduction catalytic reduction or catalytic hydrogenation next one. vegetable oils oils treated with hydrogen then converted into solid fat it is nothing but vanaspati ghee vanaspati ghee it is actually it is unsaturated vegetable oils are unsaturated solid fat or vanaspati is saturated compound what is it called as saturated compound clear it is by the addition of hydrogen unsaturated compound to saturated so the equation is ch3 ch2 n times ch double bond ch coh it is poly unsaturated fatty acid nothing but a fat treated with hydrogen then given as so ch3 ch2 n times ch double bond converted into single bond ch ch converted into ch2 by the addition of hydrogen then co it is saturated poly carboxylic acid and it is unsaturated carboxylic acid it is vegetable oil and this is vanaspati or solid fat next hydroformylation hydro formylation formylation formyl group is nothing but chho aldehyde group if it is acting as a substituent the word used is formyl if it is a main functional group al al so hydrogen and chho group is added to unsaturated compound so the phenomenon is called as hydroformylation h2 plus co plus ch2 double bond ch then here is so we have two hydrogens are there ch3 ch2 ch clear it means one hydrogen at co ch co formyl group this is and the remaining hydrogen is added to this hydroformylation so here aldehydes will be formed 
This is alkene. Alkene reacts with carbon monoxide and hydrogen. That leads to hydroformation. Then forms aldehydes. The common equation: H2 plus CO plus R C H double bond C H. R means any alkyl group you can take. Then we will ask R. CH2, CH2 and CH2. A formal group followed by hydrogen will be added. So this is called hydroformal group. Next uses. So these are all chemical properties of hydrogen. We have discussed so many. And finally, uses of hydrogen. Uses of hydrogen. Hydrogen is used as used to prepare. Used to prepare many compounds we have prepared like NH3, ammonia, HNO3, HCl, hydrochloric acid, hydrochloric acid, and next one used to prepare. Fertilizers, fertilizers, ammonium nitrate, ammonia. These are all fertilizers used as used as reducing agent. Already equations given. Copper oxide reduces to copper by hydrogen. So many more and used in. Fuel cells. It means to generate electricity. Hydrogen cells are there. Fuel cells to generate to generate electrical energy. To generate electrical energy. Next one. Hydrogen and oxy hydrogen flame. Hydrogen and oxy hydrogen flame used for cutting and welding purpose. Cutting and welding purpose. Clear it is. So like this, we can write number of uh, uses for which you are not hydrogen. With this, hydrogen is come. So in this chapter, we are going to study about first compound hydrogen, second hydride, third uh, water, fourth hydrogen peroxide. First compound completed. So that is hydrogen. Now hydrides. So these are called 
also called also called saline hydrides or salt like hydrides or stoichiometric hydrides stoichiometric hydrides clear it is another thing saline hydrides salt like hydrides stoichiometric hydrides next these are formed by these are formed by s block elements these are formed by s block elements what are s block elements alkali and alkali are the members first and second group elements and examples lih mgh cah examples lih mgh BH2 lines. These are ionic in nature because ionic hydrates. So plus or minus ionic in nature. But few are covalent, very very important exception. Those are LIH, BH2, MGH. These are covalent, and here BeH2 and MgH2 in polymeric structure. Polymeric structure. Polymeric means they will exist as polymers, long chain structures, based on nature. Next, so on electrolysis, H minus. It means. H minus will be formed. Hydrate liberated at anode on electrolysis. Hydrogen liberated at anode. Generally, hydrogen always liberated at cathode. Exceptionally, when you electrolyze the ionic hydrates hydrogen will be liberated at anode very very important exceptionally in this case but in all other cases hydrogen liberated at cathode so example 2h minus lost two electrons clear hydrogen gas using electrons for oxidation oxidation always taking place at the During oxidation, hydrogen gas will be formed. So these hydrides are, these are, it means like LiH, MgH, CaH, KH, CsH. These are ionic hydrides are non-volatile, non-volatile, non-conductors of electricity, non-conductors of electricity, crystalline in nature. Crystalline compounds, non-volatile, <coughs> colorless compounds, colorless compounds, right? And they have high melting points, boiling points, and density. Melting point, boiling point, and density. Okay, these are the properties of what are the ionic hydrides formed by the S block elements only, and first and second group elements can form these hydrides. Covalent hydrides. These are also called molecular hydrides. These are also called molecular hydrides. Covalent hydrides also called molecular hydrides. These are formed by. These are formed by p block elements. P block elements. P block elements are from which group to which group? Thirteenth group to 
18th group, especially 13th to 17th group elements. 17th group elements, right? Next, these are classified into three types. So, covalent hydrates are classified into three types. First one, electron poor electron deficient hydrates electron deficient hydrates the electron precise hydrates electron rich hydrates there are three hydrates of covalent electron deficient precise and electron rich hydrates electron deficient hydrates deficient means incomplete object incomplete object incomplete object incomplete object means to complete their object they will gain or accept electron nothing but electron acceptors electron acceptors are lewis acids clear so these are formed by 14th group elements, sorry, 13th group elements, 13th group elements form which one that means electron deficient. 13th group means boron, aluminium, gallium, indium, cadmium. Boron, B H three. You can take it as B hydrogen, hydrogen. Totally 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Only 6. That's why it is complete object or incomplete object. Incomplete object. To make it complete, it will gain 2 more electron. That's why electron acceptor named as Lewis acid formed by 13th group elements. Clear? Next. Electron precise. Precise means required number of electrons are there, sufficient number of electrons. So complete octet possible here. Complete octet possible here. Formed by, these are formed by 14th group elements. 14th group elements. 14th group elements are carbon, silicon, lead, many more are there. We can for example, CH4 for there are four hydrogens right now that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight means complete object. Right? Electron rich here also complete object. Complete object. This is formed by 15th to 17th group elements. 15th to 17th group elements. So 15th group elements, NH3, nitrogen, phosphorus, acid. 16, oxygen, sulfur, selenium, H2O. Oxygen treated with hydrogen, nitrogen treated with hydrogen. Next, 17, chlorine, bromine, iodine, fluorine, HCl. Electron rich why? Because NH3 structure, if you observe, complete octet, but free electrons are there, that's why it is oxygen, oxygen here. Two pairs of electrons are there, that's why electron rich. Cl, there are three pairs of electrons on chlorine, that's why electron rich. These all Three and uh, covalent hydrates, electron deficient, electron precise, electron rich. Next one, interstitial hydrates. So, first one yes plus, third one, second one B plus, and third one will be D and E. Interstitial hydrates. 
these are also called non stoichiometric hybrids non stoichiometric hybrids interstitial hybrids also called non stoichiometric hybrids also called metallic hybrids also called metallic hybrids these are formed by these are formed by d and f block elements d and f block elements so they can form interstices interstices means there is a gap between the atoms named as interstices that's why they are called interstitial hybrids so here one important question is that hybrid gap hybrid gap hybrid gap means six or seven eight nine groups in the periodic table will not form hybrid with hydrogen that group named as hybrid gap group 7 8 9 do not forms hybrid with hydrogen hence 7 8 9 groups called hybrid gap very very important hybrid gap okay because because these elements have less affinity attraction affinity towards hydrogen in their normal oxidation state normal oxidation state right so this is hybrid gap is very very important which of the following is hybrid gap in the periodic table they will ask the questions like that so these are what are they seven eight nine groups next these are good conductors good conductors of heat and electricity examples for this part examples are yeah h z r h next y e h equilibrium hydrogen so yeah h 87 zr h 1.3 is yb h 2.55 actually three must be there instead of three only 2.87 remaining hydrogens are not there in the crystal that's why there is a gap that gap is called as interstices so that's why these are called interstitial hydrogens actually two must be there only one point gaps actually three must be there only 2.5 so these are the hydrides of which one that is different different elements when treated with the hydrogen there are three types to continue in the next video